Will they take advantage of maybe some of the issues in this division right now? We take a look at the AL West right now and look at the standings. Rangers sitting on top at 20 and 13. The Angels are hanging in there at 19 and 16. The Mariners have scuffled along, but they're fighting back to 500. The Astros down to 500 as well. Three and a half games separating the top four teams there. This race, I think, is wide open. The Astros injuries to their starting pitching. Luis Garcia now going down to Tommy John surgery. Now Jose Urquidy being out of the mix. We know Lance McCullers isn't there. They didn't re-sign Verlander. Look at the injury list right there. It's a notable list. I mean, these are legitimate guys, playoff level pitchers. They're having to dig deep into some depth that may or may not have been there. Remember, this is an organization that didn't have a general manager until the end of January. So, Joel, where are the Astros right now, who seem to be the cream of the crop and everybody's pick to win the, the National, the American League again, go to the World Series again? They've been brought back to the pack a little bit. They're vulnerable because of this, because we don't, we're not even close to the dog days yet of when the pitching might, especially with the clock, what is the withering effect of having to throw as often as, as uh, guys are this season within, within a game. Conversely, they're holding in without Altuve and Brantley. They're going to get both guys back. A good offense should get a greater two better. And we'll see, uh, they've had to use a lot of system the last few years to solve problems. Can they use system? We put up all those names before to get a Dylan Cease or even a Jordan Montgomery. Somebody just help the depth of this rotation. I think the Astros are good in so many other areas that they're going to be able to hang around, but they're going to have to make some trades to show up their pitching.